and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for some mono green stompy. Sorry, we are going big here. That's right, we're playing just a bunch of creatures with keyword big. Recently, I've been having just success with different, uh, maybe Null Hide Ferox, Ilharg decks, just decks with a lot of big creatures. And and I've been wanting to just play, uh, just play a mono green deck and try it out with those, um, with just some big creatures because Steel Leaf Champion and Vine Mare, a couple creatures that I haven't been playing very much recently that I think are well positioned, especially Vine Mare. Really liking Vine Mare these days. So I wanted to play some Vine Mares <clears throat> and I wanted to play some 3-Mana Vivians. I haven't played 3-Mana Vivian nearly as much as I should. I feel like this card's pretty sweet. So I wanted to play some more of, of these as well. So <clears throat> that's what our deck's all about. It's about playing big creatures and attacking. We got Kiora for some card advantage and Vivian. Like these are our card advantage things and Vivian being able to play our creatures at instant speed is pretty nice. Uh, so they don't see him coming. We got the one Gore Claw in here to give our creatures trample, um, which you know like we can help find with Vivian, for example. You know, like maybe we can like end up play a Gore Claw like while we have a Null Hide or a Vine Mare or, or a Steel Life, you know, like one of these in play. End step play a Gore Claw un like whenever they're not expecting it. Untap play Ronus. Make our creatures really big. Give them trample, all that kind of stuff. Maybe get some surprise wins there. The Galtas in the sideboard are chilling for decks that aren't aren't playing very much removal, like some like other aggro matchups, like where we can bring them in and just be able to go way over the top. Um, and uh, that's what we got those in for in the sideboard for. But uh, yeah, let's let's get going. Let's let's stop. Let's stop. Okay. All right, turn three, Vine Mare. Okay. You okay? All right. See, our opponent's probably trying to, like, you know, use burn damage spells to kill our creatures. <clears throat> Don't think that's going to work too well on these Vine Mares. Good coil. Yeah. Coil this. Dude, Vine Mare is sweet. <laughs> We're not horsing around over here. Not at all. I guess Vine Mirror gets blocked by Phoenix, unfortunately. Man, can we draw a spell? What is this? We need to draw some spells. Hey, lethal. Hmm. All right. Well, I guess Phoenix can block a Vine Mare. No, not a second Phoenix. No spell. No spell. Pass turn. Pass turn. Augur Bolas. Hmm. 
How am I getting through these phoenixes? Yeah, our, our draw our draws being three lands and two land war elves for our five draw steps. Not ideal. Yeah, we were looking good. So this finale of promise, this one they just get to do for X equals two. They only have to spend two mana because of the Kefnet. Alright, looks like we're going to game two. Arclight Phoenix is really annoying, especially when they have like all their Phoenixes right away. But, like that that specific card. The like, Crackling Drake's like not even that bad, because you know like trading with the Crackling Drake is fine. There's a Vivian. The wild wasn't meant to be contained. There is one hey, made of grass. Thanks so, so much for that Twitch Prime sub there. I appreciate that support. Our ninth sub of the day, one more. We'll be cracking open another War of the Spark pack. So all they need to do is cast their Finale of Promise, get, get the shock, shock us, and we die. Cool, hey, glad you're enjoying the John Revival deck. Very nice. My Nullhide Ferox has Reach right now, so my Nullhide can block the Kefnet. But yeah, they're just gonna go this way. And they could, could shock us, but that'll work too. Yeah, because Vivian gives the creature Reach. Oh, but oh, does that oh that works like that? They just pay two and it loses all abilities until end of turn. Oh, so that it loses the reach too. Oh well, maybe I shouldn't. All right, so I shouldn't tick up on the null hide then. See, the problem with Phoenix is Phoenix just keeps coming back. Like this isn't even a good answer to Phoenix. Hey, MTG bot's working again. Yay. All right, we're going to need to go big. Bigger. We need to go even bigger. Yeah, we're gonna want these Galtas. All 
All right, we don't have all all lands this time. They're like spell pierce. What? That doesn't work. Well, there is one mana counter target creature spell unless the controller pays two. That'd be rude. <laughs> Green needs a fight target creature, then exile its dumb puny body card. <laughs> think that think that's a card they'll get printed. So I'll start with Null Hide over Vine Mirror because it's bigger. I know, yeah, so seeing seeing a new Vivian yesterday. That was like something that made me want to put this deck together. So yeah, new new Vivian is sweet. New Vivian is going to be perfect for a deck like this. You know, give these like put counters on Vine Mayor and make give it trample. Just perfect. Sweet Galta of Peralta. I don't think they have a counter spell. Sure, you can shock my 2 2. All right, big green creatures. Nothing fancy about it. Just doing their thing. Yeah, game one they we had double vine mare, turn three, turn four vine mare, but they just had Phoen they had the arc light phoenixes. So like that's arc light phoenix is like the card that hoping that they don't have right away. All right, I want to draw Kiora or Vivian here. Can we draw one of our Kioras or Vivians we have on turn two? So I'm playing the Growth Chamber Guardian here even though we're not going to get any value from it because if my, there we go, so like if my opponent's taking their turn to kill my creature, they're not taking the turn to like, you know, Play their charter courses and tormenting voices and go f go put their phoenixes in the graveyard and stuff like that. There's three Galtas here in the sideboard. They're in the deck right now. Ooh, speaking of. Creatures are just big. So big. Ooh, racing.
All right, good luck. I mean, that's all I got, you know, like, I'm just throwing my cards out of the table, see if they're good enough. If you want, if you want a deck that's not too difficult to play, here you go. <laughs> I play my one mana card on turn one, my two mana card on turn two, on turn three, I play my three mana card, turn four, my four mana card, and then on turn five, I play my really big thing, and then also, like, my other card that I had in my hand. That's all I did. So they cannot block Steel Leaf Champion right now. Yeah, all those things were two powers. They couldn't block Steel Leaf. That's them taking lethal. They could have gone to one if they would have had the auger also chump lock the Galta. They could have gone to one. One and oh. GG's. That's the definition of stomping right there. Looks like we're going to six. So what would I, th question is what do I think is stronger, Green Tron or Stompy? Oh no, I'll have a better answer I guess at the end of the league. Get some more games in with this deck. Man, these are just really bad hands. London Mulligan, where are you at? Please do not curse. But I know I know it's frustrating on like, these these hands and everything, but uh, London Mulligan is coming out with M twenty July second. So in about ten days we're gonna have the new set and we're gonna have new mulligan rule and everything. Vivian's good here. I've lost so much already. I won't lose more. You fight like a city brat. So I just want to make sure I, I get a new card with Vivian. Um, but Vivian works really well with Paradise Druid, giving Paradise Druid vigilance, keeping it hexproof. If you show remorse, I'll show you. That's more like it. Have you ever lost a home? I'm getting too old for this. So of course we can't play any instant speed stuff with Teferi out. I've got it. Hmm. So I'm really ready for main deck hostage taker TBH. Can we get this vine mare? I 
Strike now! Strike hard! Have two black sources there. No, I am not making this up as I go. Such a good combo. Good news they can't Tear actually block down. Steel Leaf right Tear now. Down. It's only a matter of time. Yeah, it's so mean. Uncover. Put thoughtfulness before action. Is our opponent playing Kai's Wrath? Starting over is the only way. Keep an open mind. Uh, I'm just gonna make so many chump blockers. Where's the gore claw? Give my creatures trample. Still walk away. Ooh, Vine Mare. Vine Mare good. Yeah, it's like our opponent came really ready for for these big creatures. Mm. 
Bounce the growth chamber guardian so it doesn't die. Sorry, I'm late. So I was hoping they weren't going to have any other multicolored spells, so they weren't going to be able to play anything else. Thought Erasure 2? Wow, they did pick Ferox. Huh. All things begin and end. Yeah, I guess there is a one in three chance they took the Ferox. There, there was four, but the fourth card was a forest, which, you, you know, you can't choose forest. So, yeah. Yeah. We need to find this Goreclaw. What's this card called? Yeah, Goreclaw Terror. We need to find that card. No, stop drawing to Sparks. Stop. Don't worry, I got this. <laughs> I've seen puppies whine less than you. Hero is like the only thing that can stop Vine Mare. But unfortunately, it just does. Hey, Sean, thanks for that resub there. Tenth sub. We're going to be cracking a pack after this. You'll help remind me to do that. Oh, good. Good, they didn't tri triple block it. Thanks, Sean. Thank you very much. No, it can't be blocked by black creatures for Vine Mare. I don't, that's my last Growth Chamber Guardian. I don't have any more, so, you know, just trading it with the Tyrant Scorns. They can't just bounce the Ronus with it. 
might be a bad idea. Ugh. I get no time for a break. All right, well, they got this game. Yeah. Yeah, we could have Shaper Sanctuary in a deck like this. Maybe instead of like these harpooners, like I, I don't even know if these harpooners are honestly worth it at all. Like this could be two shaper sanctuaries. Um, all right, so the Ronus has come out here, as we saw like during that game. It's just this is just not a very important card. Uh, so upgrading, you know, like those Ronuses, we get to upgrade them. Nissas, Carnage Tyrants, those are going to be much better for us. Um, and then taking out one lieutenant. Or one. No, I don't think I take out the Gore Claw. I think we want that in there. So we take out a lieutenant. Okay. All right, good looking hand. We can have turn two Vivian. Get that under thought erasure. Let's tear this place apart. The mysteries. Oh uh, no, my Kioras. No, the Kioras are down at the bottom now. Need this card advantage. That was really unfortunate that the fallen. two Kioras were right in that three, in those three cards that Vivian looks at. Ugh. Let me show you what was lost. Wait, you think nature is kind? Attack. So if they do have Kaya's Wrath... Okay, not Kai's Wrath. So we block that thing. So they're at 13. We block that. They take 7, 11, 12. Uh, one point short. Well, I don't think they have Kai's Wrath because they're not just playing it. 
I guess. I guess we don't really need to play around to Kai's Wrath. That'll do it. That should do it, right? Oh no! Stupid Ferox. Ugh. No, Marcus. For the fallen. Alright, so we're going to be one point short here. So they have to have Kaya's Wrath plus, you know, even after they Kaya's Wrath, we're going to have, you know, we'll play a two drop still. So then they have to have removal after that, which actually it's not even possible. Like they're, so they're just dead because I would, I could flash in the Paradise Druid that has Hexproof and then my Vivian can give the Paradise Druid, um, my Vivian would give the Paradise Druid Vigilant so it wouldn't keep from having Hexproof. So they'd had... So the only way for them to stay alive there was to have Kaya's Wrath plus a two-mana counterspell for Paradise Druid, which people aren't even playing two-mana counterspells for Paradise Druid, so. So yeah, that hand was awesome, getting Vivian down on turn two. Yeah, or Liliana's Triumph. Yeah, li yeah. that would have that worked too, and eat. An instant speed edict. Which I assume Liliana's Triumph instant speed. I think it is. Yeah, if they would have Elder Spelled before Kaya's Wrath. Oh, no. Literally the only card that can beat me in their deck is Hero Precinct 1. Uh, so that's the one. It's the one card that can stop Vine Mare. I mean, sure, Kai's Rats, but whatever. I I would prefer to play against Kai's Rats all day than Hero. Well, maybe they don't have removal for Steel Leaf. You never know. Hmm. Vivian or Paradise Druid? Vivian or Paradise Druid? If I play Vivian, I'm ticking up and giving the Steel Leaf Vigilance, of course. But then if they kill Steel Leaf and then attack back at Vivian, if I don't have more mana, it's... It's awkward. Dang. Just like that Thought Erasure taking my Vivian. They may take Nissa. Yeah, I can see them taking Nissa. Yeah, two mana. Would it, so the question is, would a two mana mana creature with haste be playable? Absolutely. I mean, look at we have two mana mana creatures already playable. So yeah, adding in haste certainly wouldn't change that. Let's see if you're worthy. Have you ever lost a home? I guess I, I shouldn't be worried about a wrath. I should just play the Thorn Lieutenant. Yeah, I should just play the Thorn Lieutenant here. 
There's a Wrath. I still have Vivian. Yeah, I should have played Lieutenant. I am not going to sit this one out. Let's try this. Mysteries of life are endless. I've got time. We cannot play creatures at instant speed. We cannot. We can only play spells anytime we can cast a sorcery. You fight like a city brat. I really should be giving the Thorn Lieutenant Vigilance here, because they're going to be killing the Steel Leaf. It's just very obvious they're going to kill Steel Leaf, so I should I should be giving Thorn Lieutenant Vigilance there. I've done the hero thing before. So they don't have... Don't have spells. Or sorry, they don't have lands, so they must have just a bunch of spells over there. So annoying. Trust me, I have a plan. Let me show you what was lost. It's never going to get through these. Oh, 
All right, I, I wanted to minus Vivian that last turn, but with them having uh, with them having the flyer, I went ahead and ticked it up. I'm definitely going to be minusing the Vivian this next turn. I would not be bringing in Talons of Wildwood in a deck in a matchup like this. But yeah, I mean, I could play some kind of removal for hero, but I mean, I don't. There goes nothing. I don't think we really need to. <laughs> Wait, you think nature is kind? So I want to play Kiora, of course, before Vine Mare, but then I'd have to wait till next turn to play Vine Mare. So I'm just gonna play the Vine. I'm just playing the Vine Mare now because it's gonna be hard for them to like play Hero and make enough blockers, and oh, you know, I and make the hero thing you know, and stuff before. like that. So, uh, or they could just have that stupid thing block. I guess that works too. Seen puppies whine less than you. Not to brag, but my friend's kind of a big deal. I've got it. All things begin and end in nature. And we're dead. Yeah. Teferi just shutting down small Vivian is such a beating. And then they play a Narset, and then we don't get to draw extra cards from Kiora. Had their hero precinct one right away. These I'll games that we you. lost, like these are that's like the the one thing, the one card didn't want them to have. No, oh. double horse. I can invent all those lands like the last time we minus Vivian, it was three lands. There is wonder in a blade of grass. Um I think so, Moose. That that name sounds familiar, but I don't remember exactly what it does. This isn't a fight you can win. Keep up the pace.
Trust me. If it wasn't, if it wasn't for Hero Precinct One. Ah, not again. All right, time to start chaining some big creatures together. Here we go. Hmm. Our chain stopped, Hawkeye. Okay. Getting attacked with the tail. All right, one and one. Oh wait, pack time. We had our 10th subscriber during that. That was just like a half hour ago. I forgot about it. Let's crack a pack. So I already have all of the, the rares. So we need to get a mythic. Otherwise we'll just get gems. So let's hope for a mythic. Come on, mythic. Nope, it's a rare. Never lucky. Never lucky. Oh, right, that's right, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, that card looks awesome with Arcbow. That'll be a fun one to play there. All right, new game. Different basics. Um, yeah, I have I've gotten the card styles for these cards, which is why they are full art like this. They just took the twelve. They said no Nightville Sprite is worth twelve life. Wow, that's bold. Whew, and then just attacking. Oh man. We're only playing one way over here. No defense. Alright, now let's count up how much damage they have. <laughs> Oh, man. Um... Wild animals I like. 
people. Strike now. Strike hard. Hmm. So I was planning on giving the the tick up to Ronus there, not on Null High, but of course the the Ronus got tapped. This is our second time playing Mono Blue today. Oh really? But took. Togar in there in the Jund Revival for one shot kills. That's pretty sweet. You can still walk away. <laughs> yeah, our opponent has two of this land and then one of all the other. No, no, never mind. They're all different. They're all different. What? This is the blocks? Like, not even having the 1 2 block the 1 1? Just taking it. Oh, right. This thing has flash. I could have waited. Oh, well. Oh, no counter. Never punished. Hashtag taking it. Do they have sleep? You don't like my Ajani avatar? In the mono green deck? I'm just gonna shuffle the Ronus and we don't really need it. Second up. Tear it down! Tear it all down! So I'm not going to attack with the Lana War Elf here. I mean, it would put him to one. Not a big difference there, but I, I can cast everything... I'm Everything over here at their end step. See, Hawkeye likes the Adrani avatar. It's his favorite. Yeah, I can't wait for the new Vivian either. So I kind of built this deck. So I was like, oh man, new Vivian would be awesome in this deck. Let's play the one they know about. Did they counter that? Okay, gets countered. Play this one. Play this one. And... Going to game number two. <laughs> Going wide. All right, Harpooners. Good thing we have them in our deck. Reclamation Sage can blow up. Curious Obsession. 
I don't really like Bronson on blowing up Curious Obsession. That's kind of slow. Um, Carnage Tyrant's uncounterable. What do you think this is food for you? My water. So let's see. Like maybe Carnage Tyrant instead of Ronus. I only have one of the alternate alt alternate art Galta. I didn't grind hard enough to get all of them. I only have one of them. Like I got one, but is it so I had so there's three of them here, so I went with this one. Yeah, they try to counter our creatures. If they are countering our creatures, the Galta won't be good. So Galta's only good after we've already resolved a bunch of other creatures. Try this. I'm gonna take out Kioras. They're a little slow. Yeah, Dr. Batman, I do um I do donation decks. Ow. Yeah, I do. I yeah, I play uh, viewer decks like for donation. So to, uh, <clears throat> something I do there. We had a donation deck earlier with Mardu Angels. There's a lot of information about donation decks in the info panel about it. Turn three, Carney T. Can't be countered. Don't even try. So yeah, donation donation decks usually twenty dollars for a deck to have have your deck played on, you know, through the league and everything. Don't play the decks just for a for a for a Twitch Prime sub. I'm sorry about that. But if you do if you do want your deck played and ooh, and you'd like to donate for it, you can you can choose whatever day you'd like How and whatever time slot. Everything's free. Or sorry, no, sorry. Everything's open. <laughs> I've seen so you can less than you. You can uh, choose, you know, like like tomorrow first, tomorrow second, tomorrow third, tomorrow fourth, or, you know, any other day. And that's, you know, that's for everybody. So, like, basically, when you donate for a deck, you can pick what day and what what time slot, first, second, third, or fourth throughout the day, whatever fits your schedule. I did play a Petitioner's deck once, yes. Uh, we played it in standard... And lost, you know, played in a league like this and went 0-2 with it. And then there there was also a popper event going on at the time. It was the first time they had the popper event. And so then we took the deck over to the popper event and actually did quite well with it there. Tear it down. Tear it all down. I'm just smushing. But yeah, it's on it's on you so it's on YouTube. I said you're you're saying you wanted to check out the YouTube video, it's The Petitioner's one's up there. Um so it would have been probably from like March ish.
see if I can do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna search for popper. Found it immediately. It's actually from February. There you go. There's a link. Starting over is the only way. So they have to have. Trickster. Yeah, like, Trickster was the only way to stay alive here. Or no, that, yeah, Trickster then Chump. Goreclaw is, only, is whenever Goreclaw attacks for the trample. So, like, we actually have to attack with the Goreclaw. And, you know, it's summoning sick right now. We can't attack with it right now. Whenever it, it so whenever it attacks, then it would give the Vine Mirror Trample. <laughs> yeah, Rivers Rebuke would have been good. Or asleep. But yeah, Rivers Rebuke in, in particular would have been really good. Alright, we're stomping along. Green beat blue. And we are now two and one. Green beat blue for victory number two. Deckmaster doesn't work for the Vivian cards. Hmm. Yeah, turn three Carnage Tyrant. Pretty good. Pretty good. Hard to race that one. I guess this allows me to play Null Hide next turn. And they can't chain Whirler it right now. I didn't think they had light at the stage considering they played their land first. Steam can, can certainly be a problem. We're gonna need to do something besides drawing more forests. Oh yeah, band party bus was a lot of fun. Oh so yeah, I can I can, I forgot to um, let me update. Yeah, let me update the decklist command. MTG bots working again now. It wasn't working earlier. That's got to be light up the stage, right? Yeah. No. I don't think we're winning this. Like I could just sit back and just yeah block for a little while for with Ferox, but they're just going to you know burn me out. I, I need to try to finish the game, so I'm trading six damage for four. I guess that's I guess the Chain Whirler messes up my Thorn Lieutenant also.
Paradise Druid is going to be my chump block creature here. Yeah, the yeah the Gruel Arc Bow deck is up to date there. The only thing is sideboard. You may if if people are going to be playing Nexus now, you're going to want Cinder Vines instead of instead of Brontodon. Oh yeah, Oket Oketra is awesome, yeah, with mana creatures, certainly. I love Oketra there. You can get her out quickly, and then you have cheap things to make 4-4s four also. Yeah, it's really great there. All right, Galta time. Galta. Is Vivian or Kiora worse? A little combination. And trimming Paradise Druids. Because as we saw there, you know, Chain Whirler messes them up. Hmm. Let me trim a Ronas with bringing in the Galtas. Keep two Druids in. Okay, so now we're going to play a little bit more defense. You know, ho hopefully we just get more than just one big creature, basically. Jeez. Yeah, this hand can work, or it could also not work. We drew tons of lands last game. No chain whirler. No chain whirler. So you're in, so you run a similar deck. You got four Gore Claw and four Sword Tooth and four Kiora. Okay, I can deal with that. Yeah, you can do some crazy stuff with those cards. I like it.
well, at least we got our land or all for another turn and we traded with a shock as well they attack with the steam can certainly double blocking Alright, no attacks. Alright, Galta is 4 mana. Draw a land, play Galta. No attacks, no attacks. No, no. No. Now Galt is a long ways away. I'm just going to damage. No, they just did the first strike damage. Come on, go to regular damage. Let me keep my Brontodons. Alt back up to cast to costing five. Bleh. All right, perfect draw. Perfect draw. Best draw. Yeah, I like the Gaslight Anthem. Always I really like this song. No, stop attacking. Ugh. I'm gonna play my Galta. Another steel leaf. They ended with the three creatures in play. We had three creatures in our hand. Both had three lands. They played all their cards. We did not play all of our cards. <laughs> all right, well, two and two with our, our mono green Stompy. Um, that's about right. A uh, little disappointed, to be honest. Especially, like, against the mono red deck there. I mean, I, I, I think we have an okay red matchup. We didn't get our Galtas out, you know, like that's our 
that's our main card. And, you know, game one, we flooded real bad. Game two, we got stuck on three lands. Had some mana troubles a little bit in some of the games, which you don't really want to have with a 24 land deck, but it was happening of getting stuck on lands or having way too many kind of thing. Yeah. Um, the small Vivian was very good for us. That card was very good. Uh, Vine Mare was okay. Our opponents did a good job of blocking Vine Mare, sort of like decks that had like one one good creature against Vine Mare, like basically one good card in their deck, and they would have it. Whether it was the Phoenix deck having Phoenix or the Esper deck having Hero, losing to the Esper deck was really disappointing. Um, that was bef when I, I made this deck earlier today. And I played a couple of practice matches on here. I played two practice matches on here, and they were both against Esper, and I won them both. I uh, won four of the five games, and the only game I lost was because of early hero. And then, yeah, this time we lost two of the three games because of early hero. So that's like the one card. But, oh well. We didn't draw Kiora like hardly ever. Kiora is a is a good good part of like having our deck, you know, keep going and everything and have have a good amount of gas we we basically like we had Kiora like one total game i think in those four matches basically never had Kiora. but Kiora Kiora is really nice um correct sony so yeah that's it though for mono green stompy still sweet deck uh if you want if you want to play your mono color deck recommend giving this a try like this one quite a bit here uh yeah so there we go so if you're watching this video later on youtube hope you enjoyed it please hit that like and subscribe buttons over there i'd appreciate that but thank you so much for watching mono green stompy here i will see you for another video